What's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Right now, you're watching season three of Cold as Balls. Oh, my God. My guy. What's happening? CP. Woo! He ain't six feet. Liar. Six one. The liar. Six one. Put your robe on the hook. All right, dude. All right, coach. How you doing? I'm good. You, you sure you all right with this? This is what athletes do. With what? Athletes. Say that word again. Athletes. Ain't what you said the first time. You said athletes. I ain't say that. You said this is what I athletes. Athletes do. Get in the tub. Oh yeah. There we go. Huh? Ah. Welcome everybody to a all new episode. Cold as balls. I of course am your host. I am the Kevin Hart, and today I'm very lucky to have Mr. Chris Paul. How you doing, brother? Man, I can't complain. Yourself? I'm good. I can't. I can't <clears> complain. <throat> hey, I'm not giving y'all uh, extra package, am I? <laughs> I want a little. I want a little higher with these trunks today. So let me know if we got to blur something out. We had that incident one Man, time. Man, shut up. What? No. One, one time I went two. I went two euro with the trunk. <laughs> I go to get in the tub. Bloop. We, we blurred it out, though. We fixed it in post. <laughs> I got no problem with that. You act like you're the tallest person in the world. I'm not. I, you know what? I'm usually the shortest person in most rooms that I go into. Dude, are these rooms full of giants? <laughs> huh? White hand. Weren't we in a place one time and somebody was smaller than me? Huh? White hand. OK. What? Thank you. That's all I'm asking. Jesus Christ. And who's this mixed hand back here? <laughs> who's this biracial hand? Where's white hand? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Come on, man. We got to go. We got to go. Uh, you are the definition of family guy. Like, I've been to your house hmm. when you out here in California. I mean, you had everybody from Charlotte out there. Is it expensive? It is, but it's a gift to yourself. The people that I have probably the closest relationships with, you, Braun, all the different mm -hmm. guys, is guys that are about their family. Mm -hmm. That's what we talk about probably more than anything. We gotta keep it moving. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta get rolling. You're right. Next step. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. Next step. Yep. Okay. Mm. Uh, CP, you have. Man, get in. I, brother, you don't rush me. I run this. Uh, let's talk about you starting the NBA. Yeah. You're coming out of Georgia Tech. You end up in New Orleans. You're wrong. I'm not, where'd you go? Wake, Wake Forest. Wake Forest. Sorry. Wake Forest. You don't have to say Wrong, the same colors. Not really, but okay. They're both black and yellow. That was Jay Jack. Jerry Jack went to Georgia Tech. Okay, two scoop ball here. <laughs> Friends of mine, okay? You know what's crazy? People always say that too. It's one is I... blue and gold, one is black and gold. Oh, come on, man. Now, now, now everybody a color surgeon. <laughs> Mixed hand. All right, this episode of Coda's Ball has been brought to you by Old Spice. Sweat defense antiperspirant, which lasts for 48 hours. Get you some. All right, why is it always such a crazy time when it comes to these trades and the way that they're happening. You've been a part of some of the biggest conversations. Is it at a point where it's just business or, or is it becoming personal? Every situation is different, but the team's gonna do whatever they wanna do. They'll tell you one thing and do a smooth another thing. That's the business side. Of it. Exactly. Do you feel like there's been times where, damn, that's a, that's a little eye-opening. Absolutely. This last situation was one of them. You know, the GM there in Houston, he don't owe me nothing. You know what I mean? He yeah. may tell me one thing, but do another thing, but you just understand that that's, that's what it is. You've been a part of some of the crazy right. that has happened in the NBA, the Donald Sterling. That was real crazy, but that, that was tough. But uh, we, we got through it because we did it as a team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, we talked a lot as a team, and mm -hmm. we we just tried never to become the story. Y'all tried to be bigger than the stuff that was going on. Exactly. And move move beyond it. Yeah. Let's talk Lob City. Let's talk about that guy, that era. I was throwing lobs from half court. Stupid. Like, on the regular. Stupid. Like, even just coming off a screen. Like, I came off one screen against New Orleans. What are you doing right now? I'm dribbling a basketball. Okay. Just want to know what that was. This is what athletes do. So I was dribbling off a screen, I just threw it, and Blake went and got it. Like, Blake was a freak. What do you think the word is on Chris Paul in the NBA? That's a good question. I don't know. Well, that's why I f***ing asked uh, Some guys probably think it's hard to play with me. I try to compete at a high level always, uh, be a good teammate. If you can handle that, cool. If not, then, you know, I do what I can. Is there anything that you would tell young Chris Paul that's playing in the NBA to do different if you could? Uh, yes. When I got to LA, it was life changing because I learned about diet, I learned about eating. I got a chance to play with Grant Hill, who taught yeah. me about the things that I'm putting into my body. I so, thought you were going to say big ears. Who? When you said Grant Hill told you, I thought you were going to say about how to deal with life with big ears because you guys both have 
Everything good with you? No, I was gonna get No, is ears. everything good with you? Yes, I'm telling okay. you what When I... you talk to me right now, I can't see your ears. What is that? I'm not... I thought you didn't have ears. You don't have to do this. We're having a great conversation. Now, are we not having a great conversation? Where the f are your glasses? Can you see? Did you leave your glasses again? God Bam. Where's his glasses? Bam. He probably don't even know who the f is in the tub. God You're the first elf I've ever seen with no ears. Oh, that's just great. Right I can't here. see him. All right, all right, I get it. It's time to, to fully get in here. Yeah. White hand, where you at? Let's do it. Well, it's mixed hand today. Mixed hand? And whoever made that decision is fired. Mixed hand is diversity. No. It's a combination. No, no. I need two whites. <laughs> bam, bam, and white hand. <laughs> Okay, that puts me in a, a different ratio. Then I got Daryl, me, and you. I got three black people today. This is not good. When we get a chance, I need a white guy to run by in the back just so they know. Stop all the talking. All right, come on, let's go. There you go, brother. Get, give him the thing. All right. All right. Yo. Oh, dip. I got a good one for you right now. Good question. Shut up, shut up. Hold up. So. Hold up. Just stop talking for a second. Brother. Oh, so you just want dead time. Huh? He don't know how TV work. Me, me, me. CP don't know how TV work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you okay now? Let me go ahead and if, let me go ahead. If I'm right here, then you're in danger of drowning. That's why I never sit all the way down. <laughs> you're in danger of drowning. It gets close to my neck. You are definitely in danger of drowning. I don't feel safe sometimes. Oh. Here's my other question. You got you, Brian, you got D-Wade, you got Mello, you got Russell, you got KD. You guys all have a bond, yeah. right? What I want you to tell people is Simply how that bond has never been compromised, regardless of the movement that's taking place in the NBA. You know, wins and losses, they happen, but if you don't got no real friends, it's lonely out there. That's right. You can have all the money, you can have all the championships you want, but if you ain't got real people around you at the end of the day, you're empty. Well, that's why I want to say you're welcome. Uh, Cause I know that's your way of saying thank you, Kev, for being one of my real friends. And you're welcome. You yeah. don't have to, you don't have to get emotional. That to, wasn't about you. Well, let me finish. You don't have to get emotional and bring this thing down to a place, you know, where you end up crying in the tub. No. So you're welcome. No. Let me tell you a funny story, Dad. You know, my son, my son Hendrix, for a brief moment, displayed an interest <laughs> for the game of basketball. So you know what I did? I called CP. CP, do want to play ball. You listening to me, Daryl? Can you see where I'm at? You f better be listening, because I'm going to quiz you on this story later. So I say, CP, my son want to play. He takes my son to go play basketball. I'm expecting my son to come <laughs> back <laughs> on cloud nine. How was it, son? My son looks me in the eye and goes, he can't play. <laughs> I just want to learn from Mr. Radoff, my gym teacher. <laughs> Mr. Radoff? <laughs> Man, we had a good time, but he, he didn't said, want to come back. He was so tired when we left, too. He was knocked he, he out. He hasn't touched the basketball. He was thing. knocked out. He was on fast break, and he just stopped running and started counting the lights. That's when I gave up. I was like, all right, that's it. Uh, what, uh, what was this banana boat? What's the banana boat thing with all the guys that was out there for a minute? What is that? Man, you, you've been on vacation before, right? Yes. You go on vacation, you just want to have a good time. Very true. You ain't worried about everybody, like... Oh, y'all got caught. <laughs> You just, you just... Oh, you got a banana just, boat with the fellas. We thought we was having a good time. One picture to ruin you. Yeah. Um, OKC, next chapter. Yes. What do you want from this chapter right now? I'm excited. And I'm not old by no means. You well, are. Well. You are. But I'm not old by no in means. basketball years. But it's crazy when you're on the team and guys like, man, I remember when I was in elementary school and I used to watch yeah, it. Yeah, that means you're old. I'm not. That. Listen, you just don't want to get to that point where you start when you start walking with your with your ass on your back. Are you gonna see Charles Barkley walk? Right? Yeah. Charles Barkley is right behind his head. <laughs> it's, it wasn't always there, but it's something that happens because when basketball players get older, they start to lean forward. You haven't gotten there yet. Right. You're still in a good place. So this is a good time for you, man. The one thing that I, I gotta talk about, Houston, Golden State. You get hurt in game six. It was your hamstring, right? It was my hamstring. Yeah. You're sitting on the sideline. What did that do to you mentally? Game six was at Golden State, and the feeling that I had on the court, 
I never had that feeling. Like right before jump ball, trying to find me a bathroom because I got nauseous, I was about to throw up. Mm -hmm. And it was because I knew that I couldn't do anything to affect the game. It was definitely one of the hardest things I ever, ever went through. Jeez. It reminds me of when I played, baby, baby, you remember I tell you all the time about me in the church league. We made it to the finals against Christian Bale, and I'll never forget it. Pastor Jenkins, Pastor Jenkins gave us 47. Yeah. We didn't know Pastor Jenkins could hoop. He's not preaching no more. <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the jail. We found out he was moving weight in the church. Uh, you, now in Houston, tensions flare. Tensions are high, man. There's a rumor of CP going through an underground tunnel. Right. Like Harriet Tubman to go <laughs> fight. They called you the Harriet Tubman of today. <laughs> oh. That was funny, too. So it was said that me and James got in a fight in the back. I think the toughest part behind that was that the game happened or whatever. It was all the issues or whatever. And tempers flared in the back. Once again, the media, and it was a good story. Yes. It was a good story. People saying that, saying that. More media embellishment. You got to love it. You've been asking me all the questions. Yeah. Let me ask you a few questions. You can answer See if you know. Oh, brother, I know you like the back of my head. Well, I mean, I should ask you to start off and ask you what college I went to. Come you would have got that one wrong. Well, I would have said what color. So listen, what pick in the draft was I? Come on now. You going to ask me that? Yeah, I'm going to ask you that. <laughs> you went, uh, in the first round. You know how many rounds it is, right? Three, Three rounds. Yes, you went in the that first round. That show how dumb you are. It's two seven, rounds seven, in the NBA draft. Rounds. What pick uh, was that? You were number four. Hmm. You were number four. Yeah, that's a good eye right there. <laughs> that was real nice, whoever was back <laughs> no, there threw up their four fingers. Number four. Get it in there. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Hey, Bam, <laughs> you ain't did nothing else he told you to do all day, and you gonna do that. <laughs> how many gold medals do I have? How many gold medals do you how have? How many? Uh, you, 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 me. Right? Are we talking about bought or are you talking about the ones from competing? Because huh? you bought some gold. Huh? I know that. Did you I? definitely bought some Did gold. I? How Man. many? Three. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You're exactly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Let him get some ice. So he tell you what to do, huh? Where am I ranked on the all time assist leaderboard? Oh, I can. All right, well, let's say who you're not above. Okay. Yep, tell me who I'm not above. Let's talk Avery Johnson. Right. He, he definitely kicking right. your ass. Yeah. Uh, Earl Boykins. I know you're not above him. Man, you Let's got go that ahead. right. He definitely That's... kicking your. So what is it? What number? No, what you're number two. You number two. Number two. Number two. On the all time. Number one. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't number think I seven. Know? Yes. Number seven. You don't think I yeah. know? How many assists you think I've had in my career so far? In your career, you're over fifteen thousand. Please. Come on, man. Fifteen thousand. Ah, no. So I mixed him up. Pastor Jenkins had fifteen thousand assists. <laughs> <laughs> so last thing I gotta ask you, man. Your your facial expressions have become legendary. You laughing at Steve Kerr and then stop laughing. <laughs> the meme that has taken social media by storm. It was ha <laughs> ha, and then you. It's like what I do to you, Daryl. When you tell me that you think it's so good, you be like, remember that time? And I'm like, yeah. No, go f yourself, right? Man. You know what I'm talking about? I don't really remember. He might've said something like, no, that was a travel or something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Do you remember how you did it? Do I remember how I did yeah. it? I'm gonna tell you something funny and then let's see if you can do it. Are you ready? Here you come. I guess. All right, how do you make a napkin dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was laughing for real. I thought I really got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Big Cold as Paul. I, of course, am your host, Kevin Hart, and this is Cliff Paul. Who? This is who? Good show, Cliff. Huh? Good show, buddy. Bam, bam. Take the nuggets out of Daryl's dressing room. He's not eating today. It's the second day that you're not gonna eat. So, how often do y'all take these banana boat trips? Is it a thing? Okay. Y'all go. I roll with y'all. Yeah. We just gotta say no pictures. You know, at the end of the day, you don't want that to be seen. Why would all y'all go back to back? Whatever, we can talk about that later. <laughs>